Every Thursday morning, a garbage truck made its way through a neighborhood in Bloomington, Illinois. But one day, it stopped and honked in front of a particular house, and this became the norm. Soon the neighbors became curious. Why was the driver always honking in front of this house? Then one day, they saw a little girl walk out of the house and she was holding something in her hands. Just then, one neighbor brought out her camera and recorded the incident. Little did she know her act would change the truck driver and the little girl's lives forever. Three-year-old Brooklyn and her family lived in Bloomington, Illinois. Brooklyn's father was usually only around at night because of his work. Her mother Tracy was a stay-at-home mom and she did one hell of a job raising Brooklyn right. Brooklyn and Tracy spent a lot of time together and they had a daily routine. Each morning they woke up and made breakfast. After eating, Tracy would read Brooklyn's favorite books to her. Then they would have a nap and watch cartoons. And in the evenings, they strolled out. This routine continued for a while but Brooklyn soon got bored and she wanted something more exciting. Tracy bought more toys and books for her but none of that excited the little girl. Unfortunately, it got worse when Tracy fell sick and they couldn't go out for their evening walks. Understandably, Brooklyn became sad and cranky. Tracy even researched ways to make a toddler playful once again. Fortunately, it was during this challenging period that the garbage man Delver Dobson showed up in this little girl's life and what happened next will have you in your feelings. You see, Delver was well known in the community. He had worked in the area for several years and many people liked him because he was polite and humble. He was also a diligent worker who took pride in his profession. Even though Delver was just a garbage man, he wanted so much from life. He wanted to be a source of inspiration to people, especially kids. Delver was ready to start at the bottom and work his way to the top. But when he decided to be friends with little Brooklyn, he didn't know it was going to mark the beginning of the life he had always wanted. He could never have suspected his beautiful friendship with Brooklyn would open doors of opportunities for him. On the day their friendship began, Brooklyn was by the window watching everyone who passed. She had only been there for a few minutes when she spotted a garbage truck. As soon as she saw it, she screamed, Mom! And the poor woman, thinking something was wrong, jumped up from the bed and rushed to the window. When Tracy got there, she was a little disappointed when she saw Brooklyn pointing at a mere truck. But soon she would learn that it wasn't the truck that caught her daughter's attention, but the driver. The next day, around 3 p.m., Tracy noticed her daughter was restless. The little girl kept pacing back and forth between the window and the door. Tracy guessed her daughter was waiting for the truck, so she asked her if that was the case. And the little girl said yes without taking her eyes off the window. Tracy then told her the truck only comes once a week. The truck won't be here until the next Thursday. Understandably, Brooklyn became dejected, but her mom told her they only had to wait for a few days, so the little girl kept her fingers crossed. Luckily, things were about to get interesting. The next Thursday around 3.45 p.m., Brooklyn and her mom rushed to the window. But by 4.30 p.m., the truck hadn't come yet, so Brooklyn became sad. Maybe the truck won't come anymore, she said, and buried her head in her mother's chest. Just then, Tracy screamed, it's here. Brooklyn looked up right away and she saw the truck. The little girl was so excited and she just screamed, hey, truck driver. Delvar looked sideways and he saw the little girl waving at him. Delvar then honked, flashed a smile and waved back. Brooklyn went nuts with excitement. She jumped on the bed and stamped her feet happily. Her mom was excited too. Tracy also told Brooklyn's dad about the truck driver and he hoped to meet him the following week. Sadly, he got a call from work and he was asked to go on a business trip. The next Thursday, mother and daughter went to the window side and once again they waved at the truck driver and he honked at them. Soon, this became the norm. Then one day, Brooklyn asked Tracy if they could wave at a closer distance. So instead of waving at the door, they stood in front of the house and waved at Delvar, who was more than happy to return the gestures. Brooklyn soon got an opportunity to meet her friend in person. It was Brooklyn's fourth birthday and her parents got her everything she asked for. However, something was missing. Brooklyn's birthday fell on a Wednesday, which meant she couldn't see Dalwar. Waving at him would have made her day much more beautiful and meaningful. Anyway, mother and daughter came up with a lovely plan. They decided it was time to meet Dalwar in person. The next day, they went outdoors to wait for him. However, this time was different. Brooklyn wouldn't just wave at Delvar, she would also give him one of her birthday cupcakes. 
A few minutes after they got there, Delvar's truck finally came. As usual, he honked and waved at them, but he noticed that they wanted him to come over, so he pulled over. Brooklyn didn't wait for Delvar to catch up with them. Instead, she ran to meet him and she gave him the cupcake. As soon as she did this, Delvar's heart melted and he flashed a warm smile at the happy girl. Afterwards, Tracy told Delvar that it was Brooklyn's birthday yesterday and they had wished he was present. She also told him that he makes their day every Thursday and they appreciated his waving and honking. As a mom, I can't even describe how happy I was because she got to meet him finally. She was literally starstruck and couldn't even say a word. I had to do all of the talking for her and she's never usually short on words, Tracy said in an interview. After Delvar left, they went back inside and Tracy noticed that Brooklyn was unusually quiet. The doting mom asked if she was okay and the sweet girl said, yes mommy, I'm just so happy. The trio thought no one had seen them earlier but a neighbor did. She even recorded the beautiful incident and later that day she posted the video online. The video got a lot of positive comments. Several people looked up Delvar's name and followed them on social media. Soon this man would become internet famous. The next day, Delvar's truck rolled down the street again and this time he had a surprise for his little friend. Delvar got down from his truck and walked toward Brooklyn and her mother. With a big smile on his face, he handed a box to Brooklyn. The four-year-old and her mom couldn't wait to find out what was in the box and they opened it right away. The box was full of toys from Brooklyn's favorite movie, Frozen. Brooklyn was full of excitement and she and her mom thanked the kind garbage man. The next week, they also returned the favor. Brooklyn presented a big note with the words, Thank you, Delvar, written boldly on it. Delvar was moved to tears by the sweet gesture and guess what he did? He hung the letter on his truck, so the neighborhood could see it. Once again, this incident was recorded by the same neighbor and she posted it online. Many people watched it and they followed Dalvar's page. Dalvar also got a hold of the videos and he posted them on his Instagram page. This man made good use of his newly found fame. He built a brand focused on motivating people to chase their dreams. Soon, Dalvar amassed thousands of followers and several companies reached out to him to partner with him. Brooklyn's dad, who had been on a business trip, finally returned home and his daughter told him everything that had happened in his absence. She also showed him the gifts Delvar gave her. The man was moved by Delvar's kindness and he could no longer wait to see what the kind man looked like. So he went on Instagram and found Delvar's page. He watched all the beautiful videos the neighbor had recorded and he also followed Delvar. He is indeed an upright and honest man. I am not surprised my daughter was fascinated by him," Brooklyn's father said. So what have Brooklyn and Delvar been up to? Delvar is now a licensed realtor and he uses his influence to inspire people to live their best lives. What about the little girl? Well, Brooklyn is not so little anymore. But rest assured, her heart is still as beautiful and innocent as ever. The duo are still friends, they visit each other often and yes, Brooklyn still gives Delvar cupcakes. How sweet. Indeed, the world needs more kind and selfless people like Brooklyn and Delvar. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beautiful stories like this one.